Listen, I uh, I definitely have never seen a movie that made me fear men more than more than this one. I mean, I, I don't know how evident it is, but like I'm I'm a man. I hated myself, bro. So I did, of course, uh, mention in my last review, I can't gather my thoughts. I mean, I've seen three movies that came out this year, this, this being the third one. You know, it's, it's not that hard to beat Birds of Prey. You know, hey, you hear movies that come out in the wintertime and people are like, oh, these are these are these are top tier. And then come Oscar season, you just don't hear about them. Like Gloria Bell, bro. Where'd Gloria Bell go? That was a great movie. Julianne Moore got completely snubbed and no one talked about it. All I'm trying to say is that I really hope that fuck what is her name i really hope that eliza hitman i'm gonna say hitman you know i really wish it was hitman but i, re I just really hope that eliza hitman gets some form of recognition for her extraordinary film never rarely sometimes always which is of course another um white bummer movie but hey we love white bummer movies because life's one big bummer this uh movie it stars sydney flanagan good for her man she's fucking fantastic like I said, these er these late, early, fuck, these early spring releases that are really good, I feel like are not always as good as when award season comes along. Does it look like I don't want to be here right now? Because it might be, it might, it, uh, that might be the case. At this time, last year, Us was out. And Us was like the best movie I'd seen in the year for a while. And that was like an 8 out of 10. We're looking at, like, dude, this is a... Uh, I just got to say this. This movie's really good. It's haunting. It's it, that's it. It's fucking it's fucking haunting. There's one scene towards the beginning that I just I wince when I think about and I literally had to cover my eyes for. This isn't a horror movie. It's just such a vivid, dark, grounded expose on the female condition in a patriarchy. This movie, Hitman's just completely put us in the driver's seat. I felt so immersed within the context of the story, man. Never, rarely, sometimes, always follows. Fuck, what was her name? Autumn, played by Sydney Flanagan. Autumn uh, is recently impregnated. Um, she doesn't know exactly for how long, but it essentially follows her and her cousin, Skylar. I almost said Shakira, bro. Uh, it follows her and uh, Skylar as they travel to New York City to escape the oppressive anti-abortion laws that exist within their state um, to get an abortion. Now, there's always, th throughout the length of the movie, pretty much from the first time we see Autumn, we see that she she's she's uh, she, she's really getting beaten down left and right. It doesn't matter, really, what environment she's in. Um, she's really just the victim to the male fucking patriarchy, man. The patriarchy that literally allows fucking assholes and auditoriums to say awful things to people when they perform and then just get away with it because it's boys being boys man it's just one of those movies you try to think about what to say about it and you just can't because uh, man i can't even gather my fucking thoughts there's not there's not really an overarching i will say there's no real overarching plot it doesn't really take us on a journey to the unexpected but it really it takes us down, man. It's like it's the same. It's like it's the same roller coaster, but but the parts work, and it doesn't make weird sounds. You know, it's like it's like one of those deals. It's 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 really just I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. It's cliche yet unpredictable. You know what I mean? Maybe you don't. It's a story we've seen, but not one that we've seen done this way and with these characters. And it sure as shit hasn't been done with the attention to detail that Hitman's put into it. I thought the cast was, it was good, man. They dialed it up, especially Sid Flanagan. God, she's fucking great. I just looked at my screen and I know what scene it's on and it's making me very uncomfortable. But props to the cinematographer, props to the sound design crew. The script's great. The script is what makes it as fucking good as it is, man. It just makes you think about the world in a different way. Everything is just articulated so eloquently i just gotta say if you um if you can find the time you find the cash i spent 40 bucks now between the in cinema at home if you're watching the invisible man if you're watching that fucking dumb movie bloodshot watch this movie go see never rarely sometimes always rent it i got it on amazon it's 20 bucks i know it sucks but if you're gonna rent the hunt just rent this man put it on your dad's card put it on your uncle's card ask grandpa be like grampy i can't come see you buy me a movie next time you see him fucking hit him in the back of the head because fuck your grandpa Oh, I forgot I have the rest of my coffee here. Ah, it's cold. I'm just going to go ahead and give 
Never, rarely, sometimes, always a 9.25 out of 10. Yo, yo. <laughs> I'm going to redo that. What up, guys? Can I say what up, guys, anymore? I think everyone says that. You watched the video. Thank you so much for listening to me rant and rave about movies. This is another Rona review, and I'm going to add ramble to it because I realize that I just ramble on and on about these movies. And I thank you for listening. Either way, we don't have much time left, so uh, let me break this down for you <sighs> right quick. Thank you so much for watching. If I made you go watch Never, Rarely, Sometimes, Always... That's great news, and I'm really happy to hear that, because you're going to enjoy it. And if you don't enjoy it, hey, leave a shitty review on IMDb, because that's your civic duty. Because if you're not going to vote for fucking people who want to save the planet, you might as well vote to trash art that you don't like. No, but yeah, man, if you watch the movie, it's dope. If you thought differently of the movie, let me know. If you think my review sucks, let me know. Like the video, dislike the video, do all those things, you know? I can feel my coffee dump brewing inside me. So I'm going to head out. I can't believe I'm going to have to edit this later.